If a legitimate near-death experience were somehow shown to occur during a period of no detectable brain function, it would challenge current understandings of consciousness. But even then, it would raise neurological questions before theological ones. Is our technology missing subtle brain activity? Does consciousness have a layered structure we don't yet understand? Are there thresholds of perception or awareness that survive trauma? These are fascinating frontiers of cognitive science, not confirmations of theology. There is a common human tendency to label the unknown as divine. But just because something is mysterious does not mean it is mystical. The moment we assign meaning to a mystery without first understanding the mechanisms, we move from inquiry to ideology. This is why it's critical to resist the leap from something strange happened to therefore it must be God. Instead, we should say something strange happened. Let's find out what this tells us about the mind, culture and consciousness. Even in the most extreme, unexplainable near death experience case, it's data, not doctrine. It's a doorway to more questions, not a destination of certainty. It may suggest human consciousness is more complex than we thought, but it doesn't grant us the right to claim knowledge of God's heavens or eternal truths.